Hey astrology lover, this is Julia Mikas, your astrologer with my assistant Luna, and I'm going to tell you your July 2020 horoscope. Now these horoscopes work best if you use your ascendant or rising sign instead of your sun sign. And if you don't know what that is, then get your exact birth time and head over to my website to calculate one for free. You can find the link below. Hey Libra, let's start with Mercury, the planet of communication and archetype of the trickster. He's been retrograde since last month where he's been moonwalking in your 10th house of career and authority. During this retrograde season, you might have some miscommunications at work or you might be rethinking your career in some way. This transit can also bring misunderstandings with authority figures in your life. So that would include parents, teachers, bosses, and government officials like cops. Try not to talk back if you can. The 10th house is also our public reputation, so there might be some rumors going around about you that just aren't true. So Mercury is finally gonna go direct on July 12th, and after that, you can set the record straight. So Venus, the planet of art and beauty, is in your ninth house of worldview all month. This is a great time for exploring new creative genres that expand your mind. You also might be drawn to some exotic or different types of art that you would have previously not appreciated. If you're also attached, then your partner might show you something that broadens your mind somehow, like introducing you to something new or a novel way of thinking. So Mars, the planet of war, is in your seventh house of partnership all month. If you got any obvious enemies or even frenemies, they'll be extra trouble now. You're also just usually really good at keeping the peace in your relationships. However, Libra, no one can win an argument like you can because you're really good at seeing the other person's side so you know how to argue with it. So this is not the month where you're going to be in the most compromising mood with your partner, and you two might end up butting heads more than usual or having a lot of arguments. The best thing you can do is to try to find a project that you both believe in so that you can throw yourself into a cooperative effort. Saturn, the planet of challenge, goes back into your fourth house of family and home on July 3rd, and it's going to stay there for most of the year. So that means that home might be a source of headaches now. Maybe some repair work has to be done, or maybe your domestic expenses get a lot more onerous. Your family might also be throwing more responsibilities on you, and the people you live with might be a mega drag. This is a good time to get in touch with your deepest and most psychological needs. Just don't distract yourself by overly focusing on your career because your personal life definitely needs some attention right now. And when that's straightened out, you can set the groundwork for future success. Heads up Libra because there's a lunar eclipse happening on July 5th which is going to affect your 4th and 10th houses. Eclipses can start affecting us a few weeks before and after their exact date, so expect big changes in the areas of your housing, family, your own parenthood, career, your boss, business ownership, and real estate. Thanks for watching. I'm publishing short but sweet horoscopes every month, so if you want to watch more, then subscribe to my channel. I'm also making new astrology videos from everything on philosophical to technical topics. So if there's something that you want to learn more about, then let me know by commenting below. Ciao for now!